Hey guys, so this is my bronzer collection. Now I've done a declutter on this, but I do feel like I can get through a few more. And let me just close the tops. I am using my vlog camera. So I just wanted to do it kind of like lay back chill on today. So these are my bronzers. This is like a what sky view of my bronzers, but um, let's go ahead and separate these illuminating bronzers versus matte. And so those are matte, illuminating, illuminating. That one's like semi. These are matte, matte. This has some shimmer in it, but you really can't tell. But um, I did declutter some of the ones before, but I feel like that I can get rid of some more. But I can tell you, let's go ahead and talk about the ones that I'm going to keep. Marc Jacobs Omega, this is the Tantastic Bronzer, Omega Bronze, and this is the Coconut Perfect Tan. It's limited to edition, but I heard that they are bringing this back, and I actually keep this part in it just because, and that is how, that's how it looks. It's beautiful. I love it. It also a lot of product and it has amazing mirror, so I'm keeping that. Hourglass. This is the Radiant Bronze Light. I'm gonna keep this one too. I haven't used it, but I do feel like it is a dupe to the Ulta Baked Bronze. Now I used to love this, but I'm only gonna keep the Radiant Bronze Light. So I'm gonna keep this one. Declutter this one. I've already done any clutter, y'all, but I feel like I can get rid of like two or three more, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, this one is more like a blush, but you can use it as a bronzer. It's from Tarte. It is the Park Avenue Princess Peach Bronze, and I'm going to keep that just because I like that it can be used both as a bronzer and a blush. Let's see. Definitely keeping these two. These are the only ones that I'm keeping that are duplicates. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. And so I'm keeping those. So let's see. Okay, out of the matte bronzer of, and the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil, I'm going to let go of the matte from NYX. It's a really good bronzer, but it... I did a dupes video. I'll link it in this video and it is pretty much a dupe to the dark talk chocolate so like paid probably like twice the amount of money so I'm gonna keep that. The Sonia Cash Shook. This one's really nice too because you can mix the shades. I really don't have anything like this in my collection and I've had it for a while but I really do enjoy this. Maybe I'll put it in a project pan I love the the like python but it is super shimmery. It's an amazing so pretty. Gonna keep this one. The Fiona Styles, I feel like this is very compact. I love the fact of how small it is. So I'm gonna keep it for when I travel or like my makeup bag just because of how small it is. I have not tried it either. This is in the shade Western. And yeah, this is, let me see if I can open it with one hand. That's how that looks. It looks like I can kind of contour with it too. This is the shade Paranoid by Urban Decay. I'm keeping this. I need to use it. I think it's a lot like this pure in which it has the gold flex. Hold on just a second. I think I need to make a decision on these two. I should try these both during the week and see which one. Because I feel like that these are a lot alike. This is the Mineral Glow by Pure. And the Urban Decay. This is the 8 Hour Powder Blush. I'm not going to make a decision. I'm going to keep both of those. So I am decluttering two bronzers. One illuminating, one matte. And I am keeping these. I've already decluttered a lot of bronzers, but this is, these are my bronzers I'm going to keep. 